Hello YouTube and welcome back to your tutorials. Now in the last tutorials we were talking about uh, how to add pictures to our widgets. So in these tutorials I'm just going to continue from there. So I've already done some things. Like I've already added uh, some pictures in our website. So I'm just going to walk you guys through on how I did that. So like as you can see I've already added pictures to this uh, header here. I've also added uh, a text here, probably a picture. I've also added the logo and I've also added uh, this banner down here. This one's here, this one's here. So I'm just going to walk you guys on, I'm just going to walk you guys through on how to do this. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to log into your control panel. Once you are logged in, then you go to your media and then add new. So when it opens, you click on select files. Then to take you to where, or you navigate to where your pictures are. F for me, I've already downloaded all the pictures you are going to use in this tutorial, as you can see them here. So they are all here. So I'm just going to select it, select any one of them. Then you click on open. Once you click on open, it will upload the picture. Just like I said, seeing here, there. as it's uploading, I want you to take a look at the website. I have uh, also edited this place, this list of posts. And I'm going to walk you guys through on how to do that. So, after the picture has been uploaded, you click on edit. Once you click on edit, it will open a new tab. Now, once it opens a new tab, the next thing you need to do is to copy the file URL. So, copy the file address here. Yeah? Control C. Then go back to your control panel, click on what appearance and widgets. So once you click on that, it will load this place. Then you locate the first banner here. Then you paste uh, the image, just like this. You paste the image here. Then you add an image tag to it. Once again, if you don't understand what is an image tag, don't panic because in the next tutorials I'll be talking about HTML. So just stay tuned and watch. So you click on add your image tag, then enclose it with a double quotation mark. Then also enclose the tag. Then after you do this, you can save and preview your website now. So let me refresh it. Though I have already added the image, I want to still add another one so that you can be able to get it. So you see, once you add it, it appears here like this. Those what it appears this one is the first one I added. Then this one is the one I just added. If the image is not well placed or is not some things are cutting off, you can edit it. How can you edit an image? So you go back to your let me go back to this place. Then let me just remove this one first because I've already added one. That one, it was just for a demo. Then you go back to the place that you copy the URL. Then you click on edit down. Click on edit image. Or you can edit it with uh, Microsoft Paint. Click on edit image. Then set the size. I want to set the size to be 300 by 300. 300 by 300. One thing about this one is that it's not going to give you the actual size because it's actually calculating. If you choose the width, it will also calculate the height automatically for you. So, but the best way to do this is to use Microsoft Paint to resize. So, I'm, going, I'm just going to click on scale. So, as it's loading, let me show you how to use Microsoft Paint to resize an image. Open your Microsoft Paint from your accessories. Then... As it's loading, then go to this place, click on image or open and choose an image. Click on resize, choose pixels, remove this. This uh, maintain aspect ratio was the reason why that one on our website was actually calculating the size for us. So if you check it out, it's not going to calculate the height for you. So you can just say 300 by 220 or any size. See, as I'm Typing in anything, this one is not calculating. This vertical side, which is the height, is not what changing. 
if you do it with uh, WordPress, it's going to be changing automatically for you. So you click on OK, and it will automatically resize it for you. So to move ahead, I'm going to update. After updating, I'm going to copy the URL again. After resizing, you copy the URL again. Go back to your widget and also paste it and do the same thing here. My next tutorial is going to be on HTML. So you can stay tuned and watch. So you get familiar with the image tag that I'm using. So you click on what save. So when you refresh it, it's going to look like this. Though it's small in size, or it doesn't fit this uh, widget here. So anyways, that is how you add uh, a picture to your widget by using image tags. Then I want, you to, I want to pause this video and maybe, okay, anyway, so you can use the same method to do what? Add your widgets or add your pictures to each of these widgets here. Like for example, if you open my widgets area from here, you see that almost all the widgets with banners, I've added pictures to them, different, different ones. Like this first one, you see the picture, which I'm going to remove this one now. I use it for the practical. Okay, so save it and close it. Then for this uh, other one here, you also see its own picture. Then for this one, you see the picture. And okay, now this one is the one I want to talk to you guys about. Now, if you notice, this one is a little bit different from every other ones I've been adding. The reason is because this one is the one that is responsible for the uh, Facebook tags. Like this one here. You see Facebook uh, icon, Twitter icon, and Instagram icon. So what you need to do, you can just search online for Facebook icon and download them. After you download it, then you, you put, take it to your WordPress by going to your media, add new, and the rest. So after that, you click and copy the link or the address of that Facebook icon, just as what we've, we've done in the banner. Then, what you need to do is to declare a div tag. Like I said before, this is an HTML uh, document or HTML tags, and also with a CSS style stylings. So if you don't understand them, don't panic. Just copy it exactly the way it is and paste it. Then, in our next tutorial, or when I'm going to be producing HTML uh, HTML tutorials, then you can watch it and you'll be able to understand everything here. So just pause the video and copy it the way it is. So anyway, let me just talk you guys through. This is a div tag, just like a container, having these styles. Like I'm telling you to be to float to left, have the width of 99 pixels. The border right, you have one pixel solid and the color should be gray. This is DD, as DD is gray, then the text should be aligned to center. So I did the, I did the same seen here in almost all the tags that I have or all the icons that I have like you see the same thing here after I open the div here I close the div then open another div for another image and also close the div here so I pray you understand and uh, just anyway just pause and copy it and you'll be able to get it so I'll save that and the next thing is I've added such widget here, which uh, you know how to do that already. Then I've added another picture here. I've added picture here also. I've added also an image here. And this place is blank because I want to add music of the week. So maybe in the next tutorials, I'll show you how to add music of the week here. And the last one we have sorry our last banner is uh, the video that we embedded from youtube so basically that is what we did in the widgets so we are going to move over to we are going to move over to the headings how did i get this set up it's very simple what you need to do go back to your uh, control panel then go to this place magma shared on uh, wplocker.com Click on uh, general, I guess. Click on general. Then, what you should do is this banner here. Everybody, you know, is a picture. 
So import it also into your library. Then this one, you can design this thing by yourself. This Nigeria's number one information is also a, an image. As you can see here, it's also an image. So design it and also import it. Then this one also is an image, the logo. It's also an image. You can also design it and import it. So the basic thing that I did is under the header banner code, what I put there is the first code here is for the banner, which is this one here. Then the, next, the thing I did was to put a break. Just like when you type something, you type, 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 and you get to the end of the line, you press enter key to come to the next line. So that is the same thing I did. When I put the first image, I know that it's not going to continue. Like the image is not going to continue here. So I have to put what? A break statement. It's also an HTML tag. A break tag to break this image down to the next line. So this image basically is this thing here. So that is how I achieve the headings like this. Then the next thing I did was to add a logo, which I just uploaded. This place is very simple. You see logo or just click on this place, upload logo. It will take you to where you upload your logo. Like it will take you to where you select it from your computer and then you choose the logo that you've already designed. So basically that is how I uploaded the logo and I added other things like Anyway, you know how to add this one, your Facebook page, your Twitter page, and blah, blah, blah. So that is how I achieve the headings here. So I pray you understand what happens. And if you don't, I want you to leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. See you.